up guys, Heking here bringing you some new Resident Evil news regarding uh, Resident Evil 5 Remake. So apparently it's happening and it's coming out in 2026. So I read, this is a rumour by the way, but it comes from Dos Gollum. Now, I read this on a forum, uh, Reddit, oh, God bless Reddit, right? Before I start, of course, I want to like and subscribe guys. And yeah, let's just go through this very quickly, yeah? So... Dos Gollum recently announced, or rather leaked, that 5 Remake is in development since 2021 and is doomed to release after RE9. Okay, the timeline kind of matches up, yeah? Especially if you played separate ways and you see how that ends, they're definitely setting up a Resident Evil 5 Remake with the ending of that DLC. Especially with the original ending of Resident Evil 4 Remake as well, naturally. This certainly seems to ignore the requests for a Code Veronica X remake. I, for one, would rather have Code before 5. Maybe we'll never get a Code remake. So, I don't know. This is someone that's basically replying while writing out what Dos Gollum has said. Um, mm, no, that's pretty much the gist of it. Resident Evil 5 remake is coming in 2026 after RE9. That's it. That's all the info we have on it, apparently. And uh, it is being made by the main team, which is Capcom Division 1. So, they're very busy then at this point. They, be, they worked on RE7 and then RE2 remake and then RE8 village. And then straight away RE4 remake, uh, and now RE9 and RE5. Wow, it's still the last few years, man. It's it's been a doozy. But yeah, RE5 remake coming in 2026. We might not be getting a Cold Veronica remake. Damn, damn. If that's true, because that's very disappointing to hear. But but there are some other rumors from Dos Golem that may give us some hope just yet. But for now, yeah, I think it is, it is a fact that we're getting this. I'm looking forward to it. I am definitely looking forward to an RE5 remake. I'm hoping that when it does come out that they include the um, DLC for it and not release it separately. At least, if I had to choose, I would include the Lost in Nightmares DLC and actually have that be part of the main game like they originally planned to have. But then they decide to cut it out and release it as DLC. So hopefully they, they think about this twice and actually include it into like a flashback se segment. So like when you're playing the main game, you get the flashback, you cut to it and you and you get that entire chapter and you just play that with Chris and Jill. Um, now of course Resident Evil 5 is a co-op game. So the big question here is, will this remake be co-op? So, and here, here's what I think is going to happen, right? Resident Evil 7 was basically a homage to classic Resident Evil. And then right after that, you know, two years later, we ended up with Resident Evil 2 Remake. A classic sort of game. Except with the camera, with, well, without the camera angles, but it was still a classic survival horror game. And then Resident Evil 8 Village was pretty much a big homage to Resident Evil 4. And then, uh, you know, two years later, we ended up with Resident Evil 4 Remake. So now we're getting to get Resident Evil 9, right? And um, I'm going to assume that Resident Evil 9 might be a co-op game in order to get people ready for the co-op in Resident Evil 5 Remake. That's that's my prediction here. That's what I'm thinking is going to happen. We'll see a lot of elements in Resident Evil 9 that's going to be a callback to Resident Evil 5. That's what I think is going to happen, but we'll see. We'll see. But for now, yeah, this is cool news. I'm looking forward to it. Can't wait. Um, and yeah, we, got, <laughs> we, we essentially got three years to go, so I'm just hoping we get that Cold Veronica Remake. That's... That's what I'm crossing my fingers for, you know. But yeah, guys, hope you like that. As always, remember to like and subscribe, and I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care. And...